As instructed, I shall take you to see the ether burner. Meet me outside the Archeron. I trust you can make your own way there. So the Ark is being built in Nathrios. Hardly surprising. Where else could they conceal such a massive undertaking? And everybody leave. No side quest? Okay, good. Well, here we go. This is probably the part where it's like, here, have a billion side quests all of a sudden. And it's like, okay, I guess I can suffer inside. It said doing the side quest actually. Mm -hmm. uh, our destination lies in the lower levels. The forum and its wisdom has granted you access to the Archon's lift. Step inside and have Oris take you to the medical circuit. Well, hold on. Well, where are we going, though? Um, before I do that, let's put that back on. So. A beast. Now, please let me use the lift for once. First. I have sent your associates ahead to Lanxacon Alpha on the other side. Okay. Actually, there's something I have been meaning to talk to me. No, never mind. It can wait. Let us attend to the matter at hand. <clears throat> that way. Oh. Yeah, I kind of, like I said, I want to collect these. We go along because there's like, we've done nothing in Labrios. Yeah, Labrientos. We only found two. We only got one quest done, and it's like terrible. But we will take the time now to do this.
I kind of jumped down here and I was like, oh. Plus, how would I even get out of here? That's how. We may have to go around. Oh, we're gonna have to go around. Yeah, these are 88, 85, 88. Wait, we could have done 85? Oh, the door. Try the door. Oh, we're going, we're going even lower. What? Welcome as you go through the main story. We are to wait here while other our father arranges for us to use the next lift. Here being Khan. Alpha, where the atmospheric conditions of Labria Fruit regulate it. Water is drawn from underground and dispersed as vapor, simulating the formation of artificial clouds and rain. By manipulating the temperature and air circulation, they are able to create the ideal environment for the growth and preservation of biological samples kept here. Interesting. Hold on. How do you know so much about it? My father brought me here as a child. What? And left me behind? Actually, you're the one who left me behind. When you went off somewhere with Grandfather. The night before, I'd been asking Father how clouds are made, so he decided to show me. It was fascinating. I prepped, prepped him with questions the entire time. It's all too easy to take for granted the many intervening aspects of the natural world to grow in inude to the wondrous. By having gained an understanding of the complex mechanism deployed by the Lunarensis, recruiting a similar environment, I've come to view such a process in a new light. The subterranean gardens of Labriophos, the lunar prison formed to contain the ancient zodiac. The habitations built for all mankind beneath the moon's surface. Each unique yet underlying sibling are. It's no mere coincidence. Now, ever since Hydaelyn unfolded to us the grim fate of that await us, every essential resource we could spare has been delivered to Labriathos preparation for the great. And Exodus, but that is not all. It is also a testing ground for the technologies that will allow us to settle on distant stars. Though the Lovers have endeavored to make the moon inhab in in inhabitable, that is not our final destination. Mankind must learn to propagate life where there is none to thrive where all is barren. So it's a terraforming tool. The last time it's not on our side. I have arranged for you all to enter the central circuit. It is there that most of our preparations for the Great Exodus are carried out. Construction of the Ark amongst them. Though our plans have been made public, 
Access remains highly restricted. You, however, will not restrict to said restrictions. It will have free reign. Come and go as you please. Such it was the will of the forum, after all. We will prove ourselves worthy of their trust. Your trust. Then let us proceed. By decree of the forum, the science of the seven dawn are permitted to enter the second central circuit. Somewhere down there. Oh, the ether burner is being constructed not far from here. Overseeing the work is Color Daco, after whom the forge is named. Once the necessary Introductions have been made. I shall leave you with him to discuss the particulars this way. Let's go this way. I see you in there. I see you. There you are. More. We're not even going that way, and that's disappointing. Arlington's Hamlet. It's probably that way. Yeah, it's in the corner.
fuck you follows me, I'm gonna have to fight you! Can't go west. Hmm. Is it normal west or oh, we'll have to go around? We we'll have to make our way around. How many have I found so far? There's five left. Alright. Saying northeast. Kinda odd. Is that I do not want to leave this place. Well, I know for sure that we've gotten all the ones all the way down slowly. I we'll continue on southwest. Uh huh. Southwest. Well, I'm gonna assume. You'll have to go west. Which one of you? Sorry, I'm doing side stuff. I'm doing personal side quests also. <laughs> uh, southwest? Yeah. Or Southwest? Probably in the corner. 
push over. It's over. It's like there. Aha. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, it's like I came back. There it is. Go to west. So I do have to mark up this area. Probably has one in itself. That makes six. Yeah. So there's only four left. Yeah, we haven't even uh, dove into this this section, and it's uh, already we have six of them. Probably seven. Get over here. Life easier. At least. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, now now that one we can't get. So. Oh. <clears throat> I forgot to um Whoops, I forgot to attune to that ether right. Whoopsie That's fine. It's uh it's it's a normal mistake we all make. It's normal to do that. Once I'm done the main story, I'm actually gonna figure out how to get mount speed for all the areas for the future. I think I know how, but it's like I'm gonna double check. I think you probably I believe you might have to do um Oh god, what is it called? The fates. We have to do share fates. We have to do all this. We also have to do it for Shadowbringers. I gotta figure out, like. Oh. Oh, we have to do a lot. I was meant to do them on my alt. I mean now, like alt jobs and stuff. Like if, once I get a job to like 71, I just work my way through it into to level them and it's like, okay. Okay, like I said, if I were to unlock Reaper and Sage, I would most likely just use them inside of, just fight, do fates. I can unlock. I can open them up. Yeah, it's telling me how was. It's all the rest are down here, but it's not that many though. That's the crazy part. Like we already have like most of them already and it's like wow okay
It would just, it would just come down to just completing, um, what's your thoughts? Um. Okay. Okay, that was a weird tamarango. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, what? I'll unlock the Hamlet. I'll get the I'll I'll get the witch with caught first. In case we have to come straight here, we can just jump to it. It'll be okay. Cause this is the central circuit, so it's like, what the? Yeah. South, huh? Yep, they want me to really go south. So if I'm right, there's one over here, one over here. Can't get the. Why is the briefer right in water? What the fuck? The briefer right is in water. Fine. Of course, once I, I mean, I have technically I have all my skills unlocked, but it's like I don't know. If close to it though. That in mind. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck in a rock. Oh. <laughs> hey, give me a billion quests because I know that's give me a billion side quests because I know that's about to happen in a moment. way to paradise. Visionaries patting themselves on the backs for their grand accomplishments if you don't need think. Yes. That does sound rather lovely. Yeah! I mean, Master Porsche and I, what a pleasant surprise. <gasps> We're not blasting off already, are we? The schedule remains unchanged. For better or worse. Which is why the Forum has elected to accept assistance in resolving the ether burner conundrum. Huh. Not seen you lot down here before. There are Archons among their number, but engineering is not their expertise. Nevertheless, the Forum concedes the slim possibility that they may have insights to offer. If not, you are at liberty to return them to the surface. By whatever means you see fit.
I assure you that won't be necessary. Now, about your troubles with the ether burner. Aye, aye, I'll walk you through it. Suppose I could do with a change of pace. As the name ought to tell you, the ether burner burns ether, ambient or otherwise, and transforms it into motive force. Think of it like a giant bomb that never stops exploding. Even out in that black void where the ether's right sparse, it's strong enough to move our arc. <laughs> and it probably won't kill you like an actual bomb. Oh. <sighs> but it ain't perfect. According to my calculations, to travel to the moon and back fast enough for the forum's liking, the conversion rate needs to be 6% more efficient. Six percent, you say? But if I could have squeezed even another point six out of it, don't you think I'd have built it that way in the first place? Hast thou consulted with the Lotharids? Yes, they too are conducting their own research, for lack of a ready answer. The moon's propulsion systems are considerable, naturally, yet they are commensurately massive. It is no easy feat to convert their technology into an efficient means of propulsion for a teeny tiny toy boat, as they say, and as I most certainly do not. I am. Um, hey, Miles. Yes, exactly! Damn it all, oh, I asked for a fine adamantite and they send me uppity rabbits with inscrutable, ancient, incompatible technology! You're trying to drive me mad! Do you speak of Allegan refined adamantite, perchance? You know of it. Oh, of it. Only in the most general terms, I'm afraid. Twas an alloy of Allegan make, but the secrets of its production were closely guarded. As I recall, the record stated it was vital to Dalamud's construction and launch. Oi, that's the stuff. No material more conductive, far as I know. Slotting some ends like blowing up a dam and watching the river of ether come rushing through. Ain't a living soul that knows how to make it, though. We were fortunate enough to salvage some for the ether burner, just a wee bit, mind, from a chunk of Dalamud that came hurtling into the northern empty during the calamity. With more? Well. That extra 6% efficiency will be child's play. It's a crying shame that we've no other sources. What are we talking about? It's everywhere. Well... Hmm. Surely the many shards of Dalamud scattered throughout Eorzea would suffice. Why not get the refined adamantite from them? Oh, <laughs> we tried, believe you me. But only a few specialized pieces would have had any in them to begin with. Drive calls from Ragnarok class internment hulks. Those are the prize bits we really need. But according to the gleaners, getting to them means delving deep into the shards. And the defenses are still very operational and very eager to blow them up. Ah. It's rough going in there, even for the cream. Not sure they'd make it out alive. Weren't we near that part of the Ragnarok when we went to destroy Bahamut? The white way winds goes. It haunts me. 
<laughs> Heavens, are you all right? You look pale as a... Well... Best put that battle from your mind for now. Deep breaths. That's it. Hmm. There are multiple internment hulks in Eorzea alone, so handling this ourselves may not be the most efficient option. Rather, if we could salvage Adamantite from the shards simultaneously... Thancred, is the link shell we established before you went to Garlemald still active? Of course. The floor is yours. What's all this? Gathering firewood, so to speak. We alone can accomplish little, but joined by others, we may yet build a bonfire to carry us heaven's ward. Wow. This is Alphano. The Scions have need of you. Understood. I will contact the Lord Commander and dispatch our finest at once. My sisters are somewhat preoccupied with the final days. So I will lead the Twelveswood expedition myself. Are you aware of any other sources of refined adamantite? That's in the Crystal Tower. Logically, such an invaluable alloy would have been utilized solely where absolutely necessary, in components intended to conduct or collect surpassing amounts of ether. Any extant instrumentation or devices would have likely found their way into the hands of etherologists or enthusiasts. Magical artifacts of Allegan design? The Eastern Alliance will send word to one and all. Are there other ways we may offer aid? No shards of the Lesser Moon scar our soil, but our stake in this cause is no less for it. Is there anything in Othard that might be of use to you? Othard, you say? Oh, you got friends in far places, lad. Any road, if you're offering, I wouldn't say no to one of those Far Eastern sacred relics. Some of them can hold enough ether to summon a whole damn primal. Find a source like that with the ether burner. I'm free, two, one, kaboom! I gather you heard his explosive enthusiasm. Might you secure us a suitable relic? It shall be done. I know little of machines, but I promise we will do our utmost to gather the materials you need to finish your starship. I am glad for the work, in truth. Better to busy oneself than wait and fret over disasters foretold. Then why are we all still standing about yapping this plunder for the taking? And I'm a born plunderer. I'll be an old Charlian before you know it. Start mixing the grog. I'm certain that can be arranged. Thank you all, and do be careful. Just like that. Aye, just like that. Our refined adamantite is on its way. Now let us consider our next steps, shall we? There's yet much to be done. It's times like these for a reminder how famous or infamous Alphano has become. Who would have thought he could achieve so much with a single Link Pearl conversation? As we're expecting rather a lot of visitors in the near future. I best return to the surface and inform the relevant relevant parties. I also have a contact on my way that might be worth a try. 
Oh, and who might that be? That's for me to know and you to find out. And on that note, I leave matters here in your capable hands. Best of luck. And here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, wait, wait for it. Meanwhile, and we'll die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, now it's not the time, little Rito. Ah. Mm -hmm. Our course of action is clear. We must harvest refined adamantite from the shards of Dalamud and procure arcane relics of Allegan Make. Summon the best and brightest of our immortal flames, and form an expeditionary party at once. Call upon the Sultan Sworn and Brass Blades for support as you must. Papashan, send word to the guilds. We will require the expertise of Master Artisans if we are to have any hope of identifying and recovering these elusive materials. Fear guys, we have need of your stone torches. They are to assist the immortal flames in scouring the ruins and to help secure the surrounding areas. I trust I can count on your support. As commander of the Stone Torches, my son Zimberg will personally see it done. Pippin, I would have you lead the raiding party. Assemble your finest and with Tizona's blade clear the way. Lord Lollerito, I pray you take charge of the search for Allegan relics. Surely you know of some being traded on open or clandestine markets, or sleeping in collector's vaults. Of course, I ask not that you do this out of the kindness of your heart. By all means, profit on the transactions. I wish you the joy of it. The final days descend upon our world. If circumstances are truly as dire as they say, Uldar's best efforts may be for naught. And yet, when we Aeorzeans rose from the ashes to rebuild our broken realm, did we not learn one simple truth? That which seems all but impossible to overcome alone may yet be possible if we stand together. It was the Scions who united us then, and it is the Scions who call upon us now. Uldar will answer that call. We will summon our courage and join the fight for our world's future. You know your duties. I, Nanamo Ulnamo, 17th in the line of Ul, bid you good luck and good speed. We fielded a goodly number, but our ranks are heavy with healers, and an abundance of restorative magics will be of little help in destroying Dalamud's defenses. Still, it has ever been thus with Gridania. <coughs> We must steel ourselves for a protracted engagement. Please? In that case, might I suggest taking us along? Commander Hext, what are you doing here? 
None of the shards in Girabania are big enough to hold an internment hulk. So we said to ourselves, why not lend our neighbors a hand? We thought you might be short on people with a talent for breaking things. <laughs> While it pains me to admit it, you are right. Our artificiency is so plain to see. It might have been a lifetime ago, but I was once one of the scions assigned to the Shroud. <coughs> I know this forest well. I know your people. And I know we will be stronger if we fight this fight together. Then I will impose upon you with a clear conscience. Come. Let us speak of how to integrate our forces. I won't let it all be for nothing. I promise you, Papalimo. to waste, brother. Everyone has already... Ah. Oh. A dragon's roar. Page four. <sighs> Race well. <laughs> And so, in summation, the Eastern Alliance, as well as the Honorable Lord Lollarito himself, reached out to me for assistance <sighs> in procuring these treasures of the Divine, and I, in turn, do beseech the Confederacy for aid. Mm. Hmm? Is that...? Mm -hmm. Hancock? What a surprise this is. And a fortuitous one at that. I have a favor to ask, you see. Hmm. Is that the four? The lords? It's all coming together now. Can't even apply my gun. No job too slow.
No job too small. So our friends are searching for a refined animanti cigarettes. We will we will only know if they meet your requirements once they have arrived. In the meantime, is there all else we might do to be of service? You already done more than enough. If I had to say though, I could use someone who knows a thing or two about elegant technology. You there, the lab with the red eyes and matching hair. You seem to know more than the average scholar. Ha, uh, if only Master knew right he was. Oh, he and Graham established a rapport. A report. Why don't we help with preparations for the Great Exorcist? Indeed, this would mean going above and beyond the terms of our agreement, but I promise this not to curry favor. As confident I, as I am we will succeed, we must be ready for every eventuality. This would also be an opportunity to familiarize ourselves with the logistics of traversing the great expanse. If nothing else, it beats twittering our thumbs while we wait for the an animantiate. Oh, I ain't, ain't you a bunch of helpful buggers. If you don't mind to lend a hand, I know where you ought to go. <clears throat> Charlie and Hamlet is lousy with researchers and scholarly types. Busying themselves preparing for the exit. Ha! That lot need all the help they can get. Ho ho. Well then, off we go. Yep, we're going back. But first. We must go west. It's there. What? I mean, you could have probably gone around and just yeah. Boom. Boom. I'm gonna keep collecting them because this we're probably close to doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> we might as well go around the whole thing. Quicker, it'd be easier. And this is gamma. Yeah, the last one's probably hidden away. But that doesn't mean I can't go over here and get the, um... Uh... Or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's in the center, probably. In this area. Actually, no. It might actually be on the other side. Look at that. Another one in the water. Okay, can you imagine just pot using the sea right and then just realizing? Whoa, that was bad. Yeah, 
I don't they put it in there because that's a that's a place that This whole thing, if I have to, in order to get them all, it's just one left, right? Yep. And once we have it, it's just a side quest that it will give us the rest of them. I'm gonna take a quick break to get some food and stuff. Let's see. <laughs> Once I talk to Al uh, Alphano and such, we'll take a quick break and I'll go get breakfast because I can. Oh, I'm hungry. Alize. From what I can tell, a lot of people actually live down here. I don't know how much help we could offer, but I dare say they benefit from some of that fresh inspiration Skyler mentioned. Let's start by asking around, ideally without getting in anyone's way. Let us meet by the youth right once our work is done. Yes, give me the side quest. The 10 billion. Not bad. Five? Just five? Oh. Alright. Just five, Cyclops? So we'll do... I'm gonna do all the side quests, and then we'll do main story, because I want... This is it. This is the final leg of it all. Yeah. Especially this one. It'll probably be more mid five if I'm right. But yeah. But yeah. 